everybody just wanted to do a quick preface to this video before I put it out there I actually filmed it uh, several months ago in California and now I'm actually in Ohio uh, so I was waiting on one particular item to update this actual video before I put it out and I finally got it can add this preface to the video uh, so that it that uh, you know you guys are squared away if you want to actually take advantage of the information in this video video is about establishing a cache uh, building a cache an actual container uh, and one of the tools that I recommend you have is one of these this is a rhino uh, sewer clean out plug wrench and I chose this one because it is uh, plastic and it's going to be stored either in your bag or what I do is have one in my bag as well as have one buried next to each cache so that when I get there I have a way to get it open even if I lost my bag for whatever reason and that's the reason I'm going to pick up this cache uh, so these won't rust and they're universal so they work and I like them this is what I use uh, I got this from Amazon uh, after originally getting it or looking for it at every Home Depot and Lowe's on the planet uh, which it is there but you have to order it online and that was I think the cause of the problem so I went with Amazon anyway but Camco Universal Rhino sewer clean out plug wrench also good for RVs and also wanted to take the time to let you know that that video the ultralight bug out bag the Green Berets ultralight bug out bag is uh, actually number one now on all of YouTube if you search for bug out bags filter by view count so it's number one on views uh, in eight short months so I appreciate all that support Obviously, there's a lot of interest in this system, so I'm going to continue to share with you the Green Berets Ultralight Bug Out System. And I'm also working on some other digital media, some kind of a uh, more practical application of this training through physical classes as well as digital media uh, that is separate from YouTube. For those of you that are serious about preparedness, that's what I'm working on for you guys. Now I'm ready to tell you why I'm able to have an 18 pound bug out because I have a system of caches and I'll get further into detail on this. This video is just how to build the container. So enjoy it. Hey everybody, this is Josh here in the Great Bird of Green Beret. I just want to go over real quick how to make a cache that you can stash out in the wilderness in pre-designated locations and lighten your load. The reason that I can have an ultralight bug out bag is because I have a network of these set up in my area that are no more than three days apart. So they could be anything from a resupply cache where you're taking consumables that are in that ultralight bug out bag, your original baseline kit that you're consuming during that three day process and resupplying like uh, additional cordage or additional things for water purification, additional food. Caches are set up as kind of waypoints in the middle, kind of likely areas that you're gonna be able to project into uh, within a reasonable amount of time. So uh, could be, you know, eight to 12 hours of foot movement, I should end up around this location. Uh, and in the future, we'll talk about what to put in them. We'll talk about kind of some of the considerations for planning as far as where to put them, how to hide them, how to recover them, etc. But for this, I just want to show you a quick, simple way to make a good waterproof cache that you can stockpile and set along your routes to help you be able to lighten the load on your back. What I've got is some um, Charlotte pipe, you can get this at Lowe's. This is black ABS, and all I've got is a four inch by two foot section that's already pre cut. And I've got a couple of female couplings and a couple of plugs that screw right into that. And then, of course, I've got some black ABS cement that I'm going to use to seal all that up. And a rag. That's really all I've got to get started. So getting started, you want to make sure that your ABS is nice and flat so that you can get some good joinery going on up in here. You want to make sure that your edges, you want to make sure that your edges are actually nice and flush. And if not, you'll have to trim those up a little bit. Now these are going to come with a little bit of residue in them. So you can just take a rag, go through, get all that loose plastic off, and make sure that it's nice and clean. If you have to get any burrs or anything like that off, if you need to use sandpaper, you can. This one's not bad, though. We're going to start with that clean. 
and the same thing on the inside of my adapters. Make sure that they're clean. And I'm going to go ahead and set this out of the way a little. I'm going to go ahead and lay out this rag because this can get a little bit messy. Alright, so with the black ABS cement, I want to work fairly quickly. So I'm just going to run a bead on the inside. I can set that down. Do the same thing on this other end. And then I'm going to couple those together. Once I push it in, give it a twist. And that's it. And if you notice, I'm going to have a little bit of a bead of glue all the way around that. And that's what I'm looking for. If you get any extra on there, go ahead and wipe it off with your rag. But once that's on there, that's set. You're never getting that back off. So that's good to go. Just going to repeat that on the other side. Give me a little more. Put those together. Give it a little twist. And that's all she wrote. So I've got those together now. Now what I can do is take my plugs and they're threaded to the end here. Now you could use pipe tape on this if you're concerned about being waterproof. But it's been in my experience that they seal up pretty good. Set that on. And I allow this to dry for a little while. Stick anything that I want inside this. Crank that cap down. And I've made a two foot container that I can bury and I can find it later. And it's a good, durable, waterproof container. So that's it guys, just making a quick cache that you can bury along your route, a little bit of pre-planning, uh, and it'll, it'll take your preps to another level, I think. If you set these up along your planned routes, you don't have to carry as much on your back. So uh, that in and of itself will allow you to move quicker and get from point A to point B that much faster. We appreciate your likes, your comments, any questions you have, put them down below. Remember in the future, we're going to be doing videos on what to pack inside of a resupply cache uh, and also how to, how to bury these so that you can find them easily later. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell and allow all notifications from this channel. That way you won't miss the videos as they come out. Till next time, hope to see you in your woods. Thanks for watching.